Hi, I'm Adriana mm -hmm. and uh, you are watching channel Spiritual Awakening with Adriana. I started recently, so I got some dislikes from people because of the bad technology that I'm using. Um, but uh, I, my channel has evolved a bit, uh, but I still would like to apologize in advance if any respect of this video is less than professional. I'm um, trying to get my message across, so please bear with me while I learn how to produce the great quality videos. I hope that we are even now better than we used to be before. Um, today I would like to tell you something about the story of Snow White and how it relates to the spiritual awakening. This story, as um, are many of the stories that we know and that we have um, um, learned about as a children, uh, is full of symbolism. And this story can serve as a great guide on your spiritual journey, giving you some pointers, giving you some ideas. As um, I will also be covering some other stories in the future, but today we are talking about uh, Snow White. The symbolism is very important. Um, the world we live in is multidimensional and symbols are there to remind us of that. Um, you have to start with the simple ones and that can you know, allow you to develop more sensibility for the more complex ones and open some doors for you that you had no idea existed in the first place. Um, the other info important information that you have to think about is the multidimensionality of all that you encounter. The same is with the story of Snow White. As you will see, uh, there are many um, st uh, storylines in the Snow White. In fact, there is not just one story, there are many stories. And this is the same about our spirituality and about what we are and who we are as uh, be beings. Uh, here is the story about Snow White um, and I will be telling you uh, about it with a, a little bit different view on it. Uh, in the be beginning of the story, the queen saws and after uh, she releases three drops of blood, um, um, bear in mind there is the number three and it has so many symbolic meanings. The first starts with the Holy Trinity. So the number three is very symbolic in itself. The fact that there are three drops of blood has its own significance. She thinks about her future daughter. You can say that she thinks about her own future. And uh, she might be a mother, she might be herself. The Snow White is full of those stories that just uh, intersect and they can all go in um, each of the directions. Uh, the queen is thinking of her future daughter and uh, she wishes that she had a daughter that had skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. And here we have again three vital colors that have influenced all of us in so many ways. We can see uh, white as purity, but also it is uh, semen, milk, it is source of life. Red is also blood, vitality. Again, it is a symbol of life. And black we can also see as death, but we can also see this as a symbol of life. Because death is nothing more that, than one of those phases in the ongoing circle of recycling that our souls go to uh, and that leads us to the different levels of existence. The evolution of our souls, which is what spiritual awakening in the end is. Um, Leaving one form of existence to enter another can also be represented with the black, mark making birth and death equal in their glory. Um, the story continues with the birth of Snow White. The Snow White represents a soul, pure and untouched, the beautiful embodiment of all that is good in the world. God's child that has all the potential in itself. And this is how we are when we are born. We are pure, we are full of uh, potential, we are full of promises, we are, we are full of um, wishes for our future, we are just perfect. And then her mother dies and this is where death again comes into play as uh, one of the important uh, ingredients of life. Um, Queen represents all the ones that passed away 
and uh, left us in the world to go to the different realm. Snow White's father remarries a beautiful but vain and evil woman, the stepmother, and this woman, in a way, we can say, represents your ego. If Snow White is your soul, then um, this stepmother will be your ego. And as you grow up, your ego will become stronger and stronger, and uh, your ego will be telling you that you are only your story. You will develop vanity, nurture qualities that are ego-related, and you will forget thoroughly that you are so much more than that ego. You forget that you are this internal being that came from different realm to grow and participate in life. You suffer because of your ego, and yet you cherish that ego thinking that this is all that you are. You think that there is no life after death, that uh, this life is uh, you know, just this empty void where you just have to wait until you die, and this is why lots of us um, carry this fear of death. But back to the story. And of course, this is all part of a story, in fact. So the stepmother has this mirror, this popular mirror part of our culture, that tells her that Snow White and uh, she grows more beautiful each day because your soul is more beautiful as time goes by. Your unconscious rises in the background, no matter what you do with your ego. Um, is um, so Snow White is more beautiful than she is, and the stepmother tasks the huntsman to get rid of the Snow White. Huntsman is first of the spirit guides that comes to the rescue, and first time that your soul feels that there is something more than you anticipated, he lets Snow White go and returns to the evil stepmother to tell her that he has killed Snow White. And um, there are so many symbolic meanings. I will not interrupt the story to tell you of my thoughts, but um, you can imagine uh, how this may relate to you, to humanity, to all that we are. Uh, Snow White then finds seven dwarfs, and this is where it gets really interesting. I see seven dwarfs um, not as um, really a road to her chakras, even though it might be an, a, a really great interpretation. But I see seven dwarfs as, as those signs, the, those um, um, r um, signs on the road that uh, lead you to the spiritual enlightenment. And um, those uh, dwarves pave your way into the spiritual awakening. So he, first we have the uh, dog dwarf. He's the knowledgeable one. He is delivering the message that mind and body need to be healthy in order to advance your spirituality. This is one very important point. People think that they can be very spiritual without taking care of their mind and body. But if your mind and body are weak, if you're not really enjoying your life, if you're not living fully, then you can't be spiritual. Forget about that. You know, it's uh, it's just not possible. You have to uh, learn to take care of your body. You have to exercise. You have to eat well. You have to take care of uh, this vehicle that you have been given to advance your soul. And if if you don't, then your soul is just on its own. Then your soul is like this empty, you know, a uh, thing that is just like looking at you and thinking, oh my God, this idiot, he's eating too much. Uh, you know, she's overweight. I, I, I hate it. You know, I, I, I'm a soul, you know, I need to grow in this life, you know. And so uh, spirituality is not about, you know, like wanting uh, um, to be as spiritual as possible without taking into account any of the aspects of life. You really need to be able to understand that and to work on that. Um, Grumpy is the second dwarf. He's the one that suspects everything and everybody and he always bears a, a look of displeasure. Uh, he's the one delivering the message that it is okay to be that way sometimes. And um, your process of spiritual awakening will not be all peachy and rosy. There will be many times when you will behave less and desirable and you need to make peace with it. The happy dwarf he is the constantly smiling dwarf making people happy. He reminds you that you have so much to be grateful for and that life is an amazing journey that you can enjoy and spread happiness around you. You need to learn to be happy. You need to learn how to enjoy life. And uh, it is a very important um, uh, subject and the one that you really need to uh, think about. 
and meditate on. Uh, sleepy one, uh, he's always ready to drift off to sleep. And he represents this tendency that uh, when you are on your road to spiritual uh, awakening, you will at times, you know, like wish, oh my God, what did I need this for? I, I wish I was just this stupid idiot that I was before. And um, But you have to understand one thing. Um, it is okay to slow down your spiritual awakening if you need to. This is not a race. If you need time to process some things, take your time. And this is not a race. Uh, it is not, um, you know, like some crazy, you know, like um, um, some some crazy, you know, race to the top. It is a process that you are taking at your own pace. If you need to sleep during that process, just do it. Just stop it and just uh, go back to your shell. Just. Um, abandon the spiritual awakening stuff and just you know continue living your life as you used to. Bashful is uh, well bashful and he turns red at anything. Um, um, this this dwarf tells you that it is okay to be shy that you don't need to be like you know this uh, um, amazing you know person that is always very um, uh, energetic and uh, effective. Uh, you um, can be shy and you can um, doubt everything if you want and uh, try to uh, try to uh, work on that when you can. Sneezy is the interesting one. He's the one that sneezes a lot. And I see him as the one showing the importance of sex. Um, I know that not a lot, you know, sex has been um, dirtened during the ages by uh, dirt and, uh, it has been made dirty by religion and by um, uh, you know uh, lots of uh, uh, bad things that uh, uh, we have been told about sex but uh, sex is not bad orgasm is one of the ways in which we connect with eternity in so many ways and uh, sneezing is similar to orgasm in so many ways in fact physically your sexuality might do more for your spirituality than you might think. Um, because, you know, sex equals, um, you know, closeness, equals uh, communication, and um, just think about it. Dopey is always one clumsy step behind the other dwarfs and meets with many a mishap. This dwarf teaches you that there will be hard times ahead. However, you need to remain grateful especially when you're having hard times and this is even more important than being grateful when things are going well um, the snow white, white lives with dwarf for, for some time uh, and then her ego the stepmother comes and feeds her poisoned apple she falls asleep and dwarfs are inconsolable not knowing how to help her and um, this is exactly what it looks like. It gives a short version of your life before the spiritual awakening. The ego tricks you into sleeping, believing that you are only this body, this mind, this brain, this name and surname, this job and this part and this city you live in, this nation you belong to, those children you have and parents that brought you to this world and you are allowed to sleep until the prince and that is the spiritual awakening again so this story like goes in circles first we go through the snow white and the mud, stepmother and the um, spiritual awakening and then we go uh, just to the plane you know sleeping which really you know really um, embodies uh, what we are doing until we spiritually awaken and the prince uh, comes along and wakes you up to how wonderful you are, how beautiful your soul is, how you are this internal being that will always be. And the spiritual awakening um, is when her prince wakes her up with a kiss and marries her, and so they live happily ever after. Of course, the stepmother dies in the end, and so does your ego. And all that remains is your soul, your beautiful soul. Let's ponder on that. The Snow White is a body, and not only so, there is an interesting twist uh, in that, on that in Little Mermaid, and we will cover that one soon. And um, this implies that your, your life can be beautiful and the life you imagined. Um, 
but it does not include you dying and going to heaven. You must understand that. It can and it will happen here for you on earth once your soul is pure and full of love. You are spiritually awakened when you realize that death does not exist, birth does not exist. Death is merely an illusion and life is all there is. Cherishing your life and um, living your life fully means accepting uh, that what we call death is just another phase of life. And when you realize this life will become your own fairy tale. Your prince or princess will come and give you a kiss and you will have all that you ever wanted. And um, one important point, your prince or princess is basically yourself. You need to learn how to love yourself. You need to learn how to give yourself that kiss. How to wake up every morning and tell to yourself, I love you, I accept you. I know that you are not perfect. Because nobody is perfect. There is no such thing as a perfection. The only perfection that can come into our life is uh, when we love ourselves. And when we love ourselves, basically, we are then able to love other people. There is no love for other people until you, you are able to love yourself fully and accept yourself fully. And um, it is very important to think about the multidimensionality of it all. It all starts in this story with the creation. It takes you to the ego and its influence over your life through the spiritual awakening and returns you back to such a plain metaphor that it, it is not even a metaphor. She's sleeping after all and that is where the circle repeats itself. In the next story, the Snow White might have a baby, Prince gets married again and the circle of life repeats itself. In this story, there are so many elements of the truth and uh, I thought it would be worth it to give you some of my thoughts on that. An important message, message to take from this story, once again, is that spiritual awakening is the road to Oz. And this is another interesting story that I will be telling you very soon. And when you reach the Oz and the magician, you discover that all along you were the magician that you were lo looking for. Happiness is in your own hands. You can have all you want in your life. You are seeking what is seeking you and uh, It has been there all along. You just did not understand it and comprehend it fully and this is what spiritual awakening is I hope you liked my Interpretation of Snow White. Have a very nice day and see you soon. Bye